Hey boys and girls, welcome back! Yeah, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, welcome back, it's Vordy. I am just doing a quick update video here in regards to my situation, which is, uh, nope, nope, yep. So, we will do one match, we will do one match, and then we will get about it and go look at how much points I've gathered so far. So granted, since my last video, my updates or whatever, I haven't had uh, as much time to play. Which is normally why I go Arm and Ham and Bacon Soda at the start of the event because normally when the events just come out, I have a little bit more time. Or depending when it comes out, I have more time or not more time. So uh, I try to do my best to take care of it because, you know, having a family and kids and stuff like that, it's a little bit... Uh, well, not kids, uh, kid. Uh, kid. Alright, so. Let's go. Autobots, roll out. Yeah, so if you guys haven't already watched the videos previously or are living under a rock, you probably know that there's a new event coming out uh, soon. And by soon, I mean, what am I doing? Um, by soon, I mean coming out on Friday. And the event that's coming out is the Valentine's event. So for those of you, happy pre-Valentine's Day. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to have fun for Valentine's Day. If you are going to be playing the game on Valentine's Day or Valentine's event, Make sure you do it, please, please, even if you're new, especially if you're new, actually, because this event is very noob friendly. Okay, very noob friendly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please refer to my Valentine's Day video. Uh, the premise behind it is, is that you can actually, you can actually, when you pick up a chest or whatever, which is, I think it's the first time they've allowed this, you can go into the event, pick up the chest, and then exit the event and you will get to keep your loot. So everything you farmed up up to the point when you uh, exit the map, you will get it. This makes it very noob friendly, which means as like a new player, you, you can probably handle the trash monsters. It's, it's probably not going to kill you right away. Like, And you can strategically plan to get to the chest so you can wear things like charm bangles, which uh, reduces your encounter rate for uh, monsters or having Diablos and then having the reduce encounter from Diablos. If you have stuff like that, then you can more than likely get to the chest and then pop out. You can even use smoke bombs to not fight anybody. Get to the chest that you want, pick up your chest that you're looking for, the rewards, and then back out of the map and you get to keep all your loot. Okay, so you don't have to fight the bosses, you don't have to do any of that stuff. The only thing you're going to be losing if you don't fight the bosses is you're not going to get the bonuses, which is like the 100 lapis or the summoning ticket, which I think in comparison to the items you get, it's not a big deal. Especially if you're going to have a hard time beating the event, now you're not discouraged not to do anything at all. At least now, what you can do is, you, you can start the event, get your loot, and that loot that you just picked up, maybe it'll help you be able to beat the boss now all of a sudden, right? So, whatever. Personally, personally, I think it's, it's amazing. And I think it's going to be a, like a fantastic change. I hope they do this stuff. For all the events and I can't I can't believe uh, like, I don't know I can't believe how it's uh, how it's gonna happen like I don't know I don't know I'm so excited and confused at the same time if you if you guys I don't know if I can kind of explain that it's probably not the best way to explain it the reason why is because I have lots of friends that are new and they're beginners and they're struggling on a lot of these events and I can only help so much so the best way I could help is give you a little bit of advice or make my uh, what do you call it, like my hero or my leader that I'm handing out to you as powerful as possible that I can carry you to a certain degree. However, a lot of people who have friends that are strong, what they don't have is they don't have a functioning party. What, what I mean by that is like, even a very powerful character can get one shot by a boss. Or as you're farming and if you don't heal that character, that character is just practically useless. They'll just fall apart. They'll get beat up by by everything. Um, and what I'm trying to say is, is that if you want to take advantage of a unit that's carrying you, then my advice is make sure that you have a proper party in the sense of at least these two elements. A tank and a healer, right? Because you still want your tank to take the, the blunt of the damage, like especially like really big hits. You want your tank to focus on that. 
right? And you want your healer to be able to be there. Now, a third element that would be really helpful to have would be like a support unit, like somebody that can buff your whole party's attack and defense. That would make the carry unit you brought along even more successful, which is normally what you should be doing. But I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people not do that, and they're like, oh, I can't beat this event with your 700 and something attack Noctis. And I'm thinking, I'm like, what? Because if I take Noctis on my own and I go do that, it is like easy. Okay, so anyways, that story is done. Uh, I normally click on town and then I go to King Mugi, not Mugi, King Mogul, Moogle, to the King Moogle. So for the King Mog, Mog, Moog, Mog, King Mog, uh, to get to the King, I normally just click on the bottom and then I click on him and then I magically appear there. But I know some of you guys are new players and you might not know. So in this case, I'm actually going to take you there. So when you click on the map, he's in the center here. Okay, so that's where we started. Up here is like the tower of defense or whatever it is where you can fight monsters and get loot for free. Uh, here is where we start and down here is the far plane thingy. Okay, so map, map. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna get into the house. Now here in the house, these different things unlock at different times. He's at the top here. That's where the, the big, big cheese is. So we're going for the big cheese. The Moogle of cheeses. The cheese of Moogles. The King Moogle. Alright, then when you come in here, this is where we are. So if I did my other thing, which is right here, and I clicked on the Mog, that's where it puts me. So once you talk to him the first time and you talk to him, he will appear in your thing and you will have him forever. So that way you can go to the, for, uh, you can always get there fast. My advice is to kind of explore the whole map and go to all the areas you've, you've been, so that way it saves those areas for you as well. Okay, so here's the update. I am at 184,000 and I'm going to be spending some of those points today in this video and uh, we're gonna buy a hundred million different items. So let's see how fast it is to spend 184,000 points. Okay, ready? Yep, I'll take you. All right, cool. All right, let's buy you. All right, cool. Thank God I've been farming all week, man. I'm so happy I can afford all of these items. I'm gonna buy everything today. Let's buy everything. Hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy everything. Okay, cool. So now that everything is bought, okay, what else can we buy? Hmm, let me see what else is there. Oh, look, that looks interesting. Oh, okay, we'll buy this one too. Okay, so that brings us down to 24,000. I've only bought a few items. Oh, no. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. No. No, am I running out of money? Oh, no. Oh, no, what? 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 I'm so poor. I only have 4,000 left. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go down here and pick up these, which is what, these are the ones you should have probably picked up first, but I got lucky and I got Randy, so I didn't pick them up. It didn't matter. So now I'm picking these up. And that's it. So that's what I was able to grab. I was able to grab one, two, I'm not gonna count the individual items because there's more. So one, two, three, four, five, 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 six, seven, eight, nine. I already grabbed that before. So nine items. I was able to grab nine items for 184,000. I was able to pick up all the expensive items. So there you go. I spent all my hard earned MOLA and I got the items that were essential as of right now. So going forward, for myself, what I'm going to be picking up, I might end up picking up this bow, just because the next two characters that are coming out for for our, uh, what do you call it, for the Valentines are going to be bow attackers. I'm going to pick up the bow. I have a killer bow. I'll pick up this bow just in case because it does have a, a killer effect on it, right? Uh, so it, I'll end up picking that. Actually, I'll pick that up now. Why not? Whatever. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, the next other stuff, I'm going to end up picking up these um, half-off blessings. I might actually pick up all of them. Hayate's Whip, I'm probably not going to touch this just because... Yeah, there's nothing good about it. I don't... Just for the attack. I, we have already have two whips that are that are pretty good. The Beast Whip uh, is way better. Uh, not touching the mana thing. I already picked up the Full Moon Slash. I'm not sure about the 15%. I might pick it up. Probably not, though. And then I'm going to start focusing on picking up the rest of uh, my my rare tickets so the rare tickets and then i'm gonna start i'm gonna start farming this out i need the the level six uh materials because i'm running low personally and i think as the units are coming out i'm gonna start farming those out and uh probably if there's some points left over i might pick up uh so it's three thousand of each so yeah so yeah, i'll probably pick up all these guys for odin 
to these other ones as well. But yeah, tickets. Tickets is the first that I'm gonna focus on. Tickets and then uh, the six star material and then whatever is left over, I might start picking up these other things like red mega sites and so and so. All right, so that has been my update video. I uh, hope I didn't make you sad because you saw how much points I had. But normally the way I normally do it, I pick up all of the tickets first, especially if I don't get enough of the, of the what do you call it, the units for the event because I, I need the units to make more points. The more points you have, the more, more things you can buy. So normally I pick up all the tickets first and I waste those tickets on that particular event to get more units, right? I normally stop the second I have like two or three of the four star bases, which is the 75% units. That's when I stop kind of pursuing the thing because at that point, if I haven't gotten the rainbow crystal, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to leave it be. So at least you have three or four of the four stars. You're still good to go because it's 75% so you're solid. All right. So um yeah so that's kind of where i am right now hopefully you guys are doing pretty good as well um we have the next event coming up tomorrow uh which i'm going to focus on a little bit once that's done i'm probably going to come back and start farming this as well for a little bit longer uh but i might ignore it till till monday because uh, as you can also tell we also have the cactor event coming out uh for the what do you call it for the i think it's friday it comes out tomorrow yeah it comes out tomorrow the Cactor event comes out tomorrow and I want to farm out enough Cactors to level up some of my characters that are um, that are struggling. Yeah, so it's only for two days. So Sunday night it's it's done. So I'm going to focus on this because our current event is going to last till the 17th, I think. Let's see here. We're going to double check real quick so I got it on video as well. Uh, it's going to end on the 17th. So 17th, uh, like early in the morning. So... If you're like myself and you're in a situation like, but I want to farm these points, blah, blah, blah. Well, because it's going to be for another week, how I would do it. I'm going to, in the meantime, as of today, I'm going to be farming this for today. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to finish the event, the Valentine's event. Uh, if I finish the Valentine's event and I've got everything done, that should only take maybe like a few hours. Have that finished. Then from then forward till Sunday night, I'm probably going to waste all my energy into farming the Cactors to level up my units, catch everybody up. And then, as of Monday, there's Cactors is gone, Valentine's is left, which means you get the remainder of the week to, or the remaining of the days to focus on that, which is gonna be, you know, let's see, just double check it as well. So, Thursday, so, so Monday will be the 13th, so you literally have till the Friday. So you have one, two, three, four, five, five full days, almost five full days for it as well. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. I that's the way I'm gonna pro, uh, go attack it. If you want to follow my my way, then go for it. I just think it's the best way to do it. Passing up a Cactor Duins event is probably not the best thing to throw away, but uh, I wouldn't make Cactor Duins your primary uh, focus unless leveling up some of your characters is gonna make sure that you can beat your Valentine's Day event easier. Then I would probably do the uh, the Cactors as well as a focus point for a little bit. Because you will still be able to do the Valentine's Day event till Thursday. Um, but remember, you can go into the beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Do the do the chests. Get the three rewards, the slippers, the especially the body and the rod. Which could be beneficial for you. Do those first. Because you can, you can pick up those items for free and then back out. Okay? So, stay tuned for Friday's episode in the morning. Which I'm going to make for you on how to beat everything as well. Hopefully it will help you out. And... Um, yeah, at that point, I'll probably voice my opinion a little bit more about the characters because by then I'll probably have some. Uh, before the event, obviously, as I mentioned before, the first thing that's going to come out while I'm filming the event is going to be me doing the summons on the on the units because I really, really want those uh, rings. I'm definitely going to be doing some pulls on there as well. So stick around for that for Friday morning, okay? So if you like the video and you like my content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate your guys' support. It uh, The like, the thumbs up, just... It makes me more aware of what kind of content you guys like right when you guys leave me comments it it makes me happy to see that you guys are chatting about it it helps me and as you've noticed i probably respond to your comments more than anybody else because yeah you guys are you came to watch my stuff so yeah if i if i can answer the question i'll answer the question for you right away the feeds come to my phone as long as i am not in my in a meeting or in an office or something like that where i am not required to be professional 
uh, I, I always check my phone and then I respond to you guys' thing. However, if I'm in a meeting and stuff like that, then it's not an immediate response. Normally, you know, right after my meeting, if it's an hour too long, I, I jump in and I help you guys out, okay? So thank you so much for sticking around. I will see you guys around. I hope you guys are super excited about this event because I am. And I'm hoping you guys are getting a lots of rabbites. So I will see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>